Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to walk you through 15 features and settings that you should tweak and switch on to get the best possible experience out of your brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now guys, before we start the video, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube and hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications to my latest uploads. So when you take the Galaxy Note 10 Plus out of the box and set it up for the first time, there are many features and settings that are actually disabled and you will have to tweak some settings and enable some features if you want the best possible experience. So let us first start off by enabling the battery percentage in the status bar. Now I kinda like to keep a track on my battery percentage so that I know how much charge there is in the phone and then I can moderate my usage accordingly. But as you can see there is no battery percentage at the top near the battery icon. Now to reveal the battery percentage, you need to drop down the notification bar and then the phone shows you the battery percentage. So what we want to do here is that we want the battery percentage to be always there at the side of the battery icon. So follow these instructions, drop down the notification panel, tap on this gear icon and then tap on notifications. Then tap on status bar. Over here turn on show battery percentage. The phone will now show the battery percentage over here in the status bar and this battery percentage will always be there no matter what you do on your phone. So this is a great way to keep a track on your battery percentage. If you want to change the brightness of your screen you kind of need to drop down the notification panel twice and then the brightness control reveals itself. Now press this arrow icon over here and then turn this option on show control on top. Now once you turn this option on you need to just drop the notification panel once and that will reveal the brightness control. So it just makes your daily work a lot easier. You don't have to do those two swipes to reveal the brightness control. You can just swipe down once and then you have the brightness control at your fingertips. Now speaking of the notification panel you kind of have to use two hands to drop down the notification panel. That's because this is a big screen phone. And with one hand, it's kind of difficult to reach at the top of the screen. And if I do try and drop down the notification panel with one hand, I kind of fear I'll drop the phone. So what we want to do here is we want to enable an option which will allow you to drop down the notification panel with a swipe down on your home screen. So if you swipe down on your home screen right now, it kind of reveals the app drawer. So we want to change the setting. So long press on the home screen and go to home screen settings and turn this option on which says swipe down for notification panel and when you turn this option on if you swipe down on your home screen like this it will reveal the notification panel and this will allow you to use your phone with one hand with ease so now i can just swipe down with my thumb and that will reveal the notification panel swipe down once more to reveal the entire notification panel so a very useful feature if you want to use your phone with one hand the galaxy note 10 plus has a high resolution wqhd plus display but unfortunately when you take it out of the box and start using it the screen resolution is set to 1080p so what we want to do here is change the screen resolution to maximum so that we get the best quality out of the gorgeous display of the galaxy note 10 plus so drop down the notification panel tap on this gear icon then tap on display over here tap on screen resolution and as you can see it's set to full high definition. Select this option WQHD plus and then tap on apply and this will change the system screen resolution to the native screen resolution of the OLED display on your Note 10 plus. And yes it does make a difference I can see the text is much sharper when you turn the screen resolution up to maximum and no it does not affect the battery life. I've noticed another change Samsung has made in the screen settings is that the screen mode is now set to natural. All of the previous Samsung phones used to have the screen mode set to vivid and I've seen a lot of people complain on tech sites that they find Samsung OLED displays to be super vivid but to be honest people do like vivid colors. So if you do like vivid colors make sure to switch the screen mode from natural to vivid if you want bright deep colors on your Samsung Note 10 Plus. A lot of you guys ask me if there's a black theme built in for the Samsung One UI. Well there kinda is and it's called night mode. And it's right over here if you drop down the notification panel, swipe like this, we have night mode. Now when I turn on night mode you will see a black theme will be applied to the UI of the Note 10 Plus. See just like that. If I go to settings, all of these menus have turned black. Now this night mode setting, if you don't find this over here in the drop down notification panel, go to settings, tap on display and over here you have night mode. The next setting you should tweak is that you should make these fonts bold. I kind of find these fonts are illegible sometimes when I'm working out and I'm using my phone. So tap on fonts and sizes and once again this is in display settings, font style and sizes 
and then turn on bold font. This setting makes the font a little bit more bold without changing its actual size. So a very useful setting on the Note 10 Plus if you find the fonts are illegible, do make sure you turn that on. Also, let's go back to the display settings, scroll all the way down and tap on video enhancer. Now video enhancer is disabled by default. So you might want to turn this option on. Video enhancer enhances the image quality of your video so that you can enjoy bright and vivid colors. Okay, so now that we have set a dark theme, it is time to get a good wallpaper app and find ourselves a dark wallpaper. So let's go back. Now I personally like to use an app called Wallcraft. So Wallpaper HD, 4K backgrounds, so just search for Wallcraft and you will find this app. And these guys have an awesome collection of wallpapers. So for example, if I wanna download this one, I can do this, tap on download, allow, and then I can download the maximum resolution, which is in 4K. So download has completed. I can go to my gallery and set this as my wallpaper. And setting a dark wallpaper on your Note 10 Plus will definitely save you a lot of battery power because this is an OLED display. The display does not have a separate backlight, so the pixels themselves generate their own light. So if an area of the display is dark, that means the pixels are completely turned off and they're not consuming any battery power. So a good dark wallpaper coupled with this black theme will save you a lot of battery power. So I took a minute or two to customize my home screen and I think this wallpaper looks really good. And it's from the same Wallcraft app. Okay, so for my next tweak, I want you guys to turn off Bixby Home. Now, if you use Bixby Home, this is a really useful feature. But if you don't use Bixby Home like me, long press on the home screen, swipe over here and turn off Bixby Home. I feel it takes up an extra home screen over here and I like to keep it turned off. So now I just have two home screens over here and there's no more Bixby Home. Now speaking of Bixby, the power button on the Note 10 Plus doubles as a Bixby button. So this button over here turns the phone on and if you long press this, it will fire up Bixby. But fortunately for us, we can go ahead and change this behavior. And by the way, if you want to switch your phone off, drop down the notification panel and over here you see this power button. So just tap on this once and this opens up the power menu. Now open up this power menu and press on this side key setting. And now over here, you see this press and hold option. You can set this to power off menu. So now if I press and hold this button, it will open the power menu instead of launching Bixby. So this is a very useful tweak that you should do on your Note 10 Plus if you don't use Bixby. I can imagine a lot of people will get confused on how to turn their phone off. People are used to just pressing the physical button in order to launch this power menu. So I might make a separate video of this, how to switch your phone on and off and how to change that power button behavior because I think it's quite important and I'm, I'm quite sure I'm gonna get comments on my video on how to turn the phone off. By default, the way Samsung Note 10 Plus displays notifications on the lock screen is in a little pill over here. And this style of notifications does not show any details so I don't know who sent me a message on WhatsApp and I don't know which two apps have been installed or updated. And you have to tap on this and then it will drop down the notification panel and you'll be able to see all your notifications. Now the way lock screen notifications are displayed is more of a personal choice so you can skip over this part if you don't want to display notifications on the lock screen in more details. But if you like the traditional style of notifications, drop down the notification panel, tap on settings, scroll down here to lock screen and then tap on notifications. And then change the view style from icons only to detailed. And then you might want to change the transparency. I like to keep it at 100% transparent. So now the notifications on the lock screen will be displayed in more detail, which is exactly what I want. So I know who sent me a message and I know what's going on on my phone. Now, if you don't want to see detailed content in your notifications, for example, I don't want to see the message. You can go ahead and turn on this feature called hide content. So take a look at this. We still have those horizontal style of notifications, but you cannot see what message you've got. So this little option will give you a little bit more privacy on the lock screen. Okay, since we're talking about the notifications, here is another notification setting that I like to tweak. Okay, so first off, take a look at this. I've got three notifications inside WhatsApp, but if I long press this, I don't see any notifications over here. So we want to change a setting that shows notifications over here. So I don't have to drop down the notification bar in order to see what notifications I've got in an app. 
and same goes for play store if i long press this it's just showing my apps it's actually not showing what notifications i've got inside the play store okay so first off drop down the notification panel press on settings tap on notifications then tap on app icon badges scroll down here and turn on show notifications so as soon as i turn this on look what happens if i long press this it actually shows me what notification i have inside whatsapp so i've sent myself a message so it was showing me i've got this notification really cool right again long press this is another notification that i've got some video and there's another one and i can just dismiss this like this and the other notifications shows up and same goes for play store snapchat has been successfully installed so i'm getting the notification over here dismiss dismiss and you can see they also get dismissed from the status bar so i think that's a fantastic feature the phone lets you check the notifications right from the icon of the app now the next setting i want to tweak is that i want to make these icons a little bit small now this is a big screen phone and these icons are fairly big and i think we can fit more icons on the home screen and same goes for the app drawer these icons are just way too big so go to your home screen long press on the home screen and tap on home screen settings then tap on home screen grid and now by default it's set to 4x5 that means 4 icons horizontally and 5 icons vertically and i think i like to keep it at 5x6 that is perfect because this is a big screen phone and i don't mind having smaller icons on my home screen so i can now bring this down over here and it fits perfectly 5 icons in a row that's good now we want to do the same for the app drawer so long press on the home screen tap on home screen settings tap on app screen grid and select a higher value for example 5 into 6 is perfectly fine now it fits more icons on a single page so now look at this the app drawer is just a single page i don't have to swipe back and forth to check all my apps the next setting i want to tweak is that i want to make this clock a little bit more colorful white is fine but colorful looks better so unlock your phone drop down the notifications panel go to settings scroll down here to lock screen and then tap on clock style and tap on colors and over here you can change the color of the clock so right now it is set to auto adapt to the background but if you want a more colorful clock just tap on these colors and just pick the one that you like i kind of like this rainbow effect thingy because this is the aura glow note 10 plus tap on done and now we have a more colorful clock on the lock screen and you can do the same for always on display turn on always on display and tap on clock style and the phone gives you two options always on display or the lock screen tap on always on display and over here tap on colors and then over from over here you can change the color of the always on display clock tap on done and now there will be a colorful clock for the always on display once again this is more of a personal choice but it's good to know that you can tweak these settings if you want so guys that brings us to the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed and if you did enjoy don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe to me on youtube for more content and yes i will be uploading more videos on the note 10 plus so do make sure to check them out so guys thank you for watching do stay tuned for more videos on the note 10 plus and i will see you guys next time